Good evening. Investigators are pressing an Albuquerque company that handles bodies donated for medical research. Police want to know if BioCare knew that it was sending body parts to Kansas and if it was returning incomplete bodies or the wrong bodies to families. News 13's Alex Tomlin has been chasing down leads on this story for three days. She is live at BioCare tonight. Dick Paul Montoya, BioCare's owner, is not under arrest tonight, but police did search his house and his business. Two separate searches, one at Paul Montano's home in Los Lunas and one at his BioCare office in Albuquerque. Police used a search warrant to go into Montano's home, but not for his office. He has allowed us to be in his facility. Montano agreed to let police search the building near Alameda and Louisiana and provided them with paperwork on the bodies the company has handled that were donated for medical research. Questions arose about Montano's business after body parts showed up in Kansas City, Kansas. First, a head and torso showed up at a facility there called Stericycle. That company incinerates medical waste, but not body parts. Then police stopped a shipment to the plant last week. Inside were 30 drums full of body parts, including six heads. The labels on the drums were for BioCare in Albuquerque. Police want BioCare's records to see if the bodies came from the company. And if they did, if BioCare records claimed the bodies had already been returned to families. Police are looking to see if sending the bodies to Kansas classifies as illegal dumping and... Another crime that's also being looked at as is the possibility of fraud. The Kansas City coroner worries about that too. He identified an arm yesterday because it still had a tag on it with the name of an Albuquerque funeral home. That funeral home told the coroner it thought it had cremated that man's body after BioCare returned his remains in a box in September. The funeral home then gave the ashes back to the family. The coroner in Kansas told me today that the six heads are in good condition and he should be able to identify them through photographs, another reason they want BioCare's records. But he says he does not think he'll be able to identify a lot of the other body parts. Back to you. Okay, Alex, Paul Montano, the owner of BioCare, does on-call work for the New Mexico Office of the Medical Investigator. He's a field investigator taking pictures of death scenes, and he does interview people. But OMI says it has nothing to do with BioCare. We've also learned that there is no state agency in New Mexico that ensures bodies donated to science are handled properly. The University of New Mexico's anatomical donation department gets dozens of bodies every month, and it does have its own strict rules. We have lots of little sort of fail-safe mechanisms that we have. Uh, we always have four people involved with each donation checking on different parts of it to make sure that uh, the body is there and we have the proper name and the proper notation and it can't be shipped anyplace else. We keep track of it the whole time it's here. Bodies donated to the university are used to teach medical students, and they are usually kept for about 14 months. There is some waste, mainly tissue and skin, and that is sent to a medical incinerator. The rest of a donated body, about 90% of its original content, is cremated and returned to the family. Dr. Estenson believes New Mexico should have a board to set state standards, but he says there is an industry standard for handling bodies donated for science. The major body parts are supposed to be kept together and returned to the family.